Grace and peace to each and every one of you on today. I wanted to do a video. I want to read to you by far one of my favorite psalms in all of the Holy Scriptures, and that's Psalm 139. In the vastness of the virus and all of the multiple simultaneous disasters that we have experienced this year, many, many people have questioned, and rightly so, where is God? And why does not God intervene in all of the calamity and all of the catastrophe and all of the death and dying? And this psalm speaks to not only the answers to those questions, but also it is a source of collective strength and meaningful uh, assessments of how we navigate from the time that we are conceived to we are born as we journey through this life and as we do all of the things that we control and also more importantly the things that God controls in our coming and going it leads to the finality of our transition and so I want to just share with you my reading of Psalms 139 and I will be reading from the complete Jewish Bible because of the verbiage and how brilliantly I think the author has written it in the original Hebrew content it says Adonai which is God Almighty. You have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand up. You discern my inclinations from afar. You scrutinize my daily activities. You are so familiar with all my ways that before I speak even a word, Adonai, you know all about it already. You have hemmed me in, both behind and in front, and laid your hand on me. Such wonderful knowledge is beyond me. It is too high for me to reach. Where can I go to escape your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I lie down in the grave or Shiloh, you are there. If I fly away with the wings of the dawn and land beyond the sea, even there your hand will lead me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, let darkness around me and let the light around me be night, even darkness like this is not too dark for you. Whether night is as clear as day, darkness, the light are the same. For you fashioned me my innermost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you because I am awesomely made, wonderfully. Your works are wonders. I know this very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret, incredibly woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes could see me as an embryo. But in your book, all of my days were already written. My days had been shaped before any of them existed. God, how I praise your thoughts, how many of them there are. If I count them, 
They are more than the grains of sand. If I finish the count, I am still with you. God, if only you would kill off all the wicked, men of blood get away from me. They invoke your name for their crafty schemes. Yes, your enemies misuse it. Adonai, how, how I hate those who hate you. I feel such disgust with those who defy you. I hate them with unlimited hatred. For they have become my enemies too. And finally, examine me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is in me any hurtful way and lead me along the eternal way. Grace and peace unto you and your household. Shalom.